Yesterday, Samsung promised to swiftly add a new feature to its smartphones, allowing owners to entirely deactivate their devices if they're stolen. Dubbed as a kill switch by the press, Samsung executives disclosed their plans in a meeting with San Francisco District Attorney George Gaskin and New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. They've been pressing smartphone manufacturers to help combat a nationwide surge of crime targeting their devices. Is it possible that the reason why this has been so long in coming is because the phone companies and the, hand, and the device manufacturers actually have a vested interest in making their devices continue to work after they've been stolen? Or am I too cynical? Uh, considering that this market is costing billions and billions of dollars a year, I don't think you're too off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it costs us billions and billions a year. It gives exactly. billions and billions of dollars to them because every time my phone gets stolen, I have to buy a new one. Exactly. And the next person continues to use it. Exactly. Mm. Uh, so Samsung is, is, has responded, and Apple earlier this week at its uh, annual developers conference did say it's adding a feature, but attorneys general and authorities in other states do say that this feature sh falls short because subscribers will have to subscribe to iCloud um, in order to use it. Right. Uh, but it looks like Samsung, S Samsung is actually taking the lead on this. Uh, nice use of uh, the word attorneys general as well. Yeah. My mother, the English teacher, would be very proud of you. <laughs> I'm saying attorney generals. Uh, uh, you call multiple whoppers junior. Yeah, uh, there's that great there's Onion a, article exactly, yeah. <laughs> about, uh, <laughs> about who did on, on language. William Sapphire yeah. going to going to, classic. Yeah, going to Burger King <laughs> and ordering multiple whoppers junior and talking to the people in the line around him about how many people believe it would be whopper juniors, but it's actually whoppers junior. Uh, sorry for that aside. But um, it, who would not be using iCloud? I don't quite understand that. If if they didn't have an iPhone. Surely everyone who has an iPhone just registers for iCloud anyway. Don't not it? necessarily. Doesn't all the data just sync up? Not, not necessarily. It is, it is free, but you do, have to, it, you do have to take certain steps in order to activate it. Um, that four-second step of typing in your, your, your yeah, username. Yeah, but I, but I do think um, it would be interesting. Apple, you know, I, I haven't been able to get those statistics from Apple, but it would be interesting to see you know, how many iPhone or device owners mm. uh, don't, don't have it or, or have signed up. Um, but you know, I think what, what the authorities are saying is that there is an easier way to do this. The, you know, sp smartphone companies can put in this kill switch that mm. would render a phone inoperable. Yeah. And, and companies have been slow to, do, to doing this. Yeah, although what, just to clarify, what you can already do is wipe all of the data off your phone remotely, off your iPhone, right? You can go into your iCloud and you can use the Find My iPhone Yeah, you can use the Find My iPhone. And then it'll just wipe everything, so at least you're not. Yeah, have you ever used it? Stolen. Yeah, I have. Has it worked for you? Not really. Yeah. <laughs>